Hey guys! Today's video is about which type of guinea pig, so gender or breed, is the best beginner guinea pig. Of course, every guinea pig and owner is different and lots depends on the individual guinea pig's character. In this video, I try to present an overview over what most people consider the easiest way to start keeping guinea pigs. So let's get into the video! When you first plan on getting guinea pigs, it can feel like such an information overload when doing research. The first thing that's important is whether to get female or male guinea pigs. The easiest combination, so the most beginner friendly one, is a neutered boar and one or several sows. The boar needs to be neutered so that you don't end up with lots of new baby guinea pigs. It's easier, cheaper and less risky to neuter a boar than it is to spay a female. With this group combo, you have the highest chance of a peaceful and happy guinea pig herd. This is how guinea pigs live together in nature. A group of female guinea pigs is another possible group combination. Without a neutered board to keep the peace, female groups can sometimes turn aggressive. The third possible combination is a group of boars. Boar groups tend to have a bad reputation, as they require more space than any of the other group constellations and are the most difficult to keep. Boars tend to be more territorial than females, so the group combinations can sometimes lead to fighting and it can take some time to find two boars or more that really click. However, many owners of boar groups also say that they have very peaceful groups and that the group combo doesn't deserve such a bad rep. So definitely the most beginner friendly group combination is a neutered boar and one or several females. Though of course it also always depends on the individual guinea pig's character. When it comes to guinea pig breeds, you can usually sort guinea pigs into three distinct but broad categories. Long haired and short haired guinea pigs and the giant guinea pig. This breed of Kui is a very large version of our pet guinea pigs, also sometimes simply referred to as the giant guinea pig. Kuis have a smaller lifespan, about 3 years, and are thought to be prone to heart diseases and need huge enclosures due to their size. They are also difficult to handle and appear to be more stressed in the presence of humans. So the regular pet guinea pig is your beginner friendly guinea pig number one. When it comes to long and short haired guinea pigs, your most beginner friendly piggy is the short haired breed. This includes the American or English guinea pig, white crested, Abyssinians, Rex, alpaca, just to name a few, so you don't have to worry about not finding your dream fur type or color. Short haired guinea pigs take care of their grooming and need no help. Long haired guinea pigs, on the other hand, often require hair trims and some breeds even need regular brushing, making them more complicated for a beginner. So the most beginner friendly guinea pig is a group with a neutered boar and one or several sows and all of them are short haired guinea pigs. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys next time! Bye!